Now here's a handy tip for you about finding things in the drawing view. So we're back to this little drawing that you may have seen in another video of mine. This is just a little demo drawing to show you and represent the artwork that you may be working with. Now the camera view, as you're probably aware, it pulls in everything from the drawings. Everything, every layer you've got down here that you've got visible, it's going to show them in a what's called a, a composite. It's going to compose them. So it's literally like taking all the cells in traditional animation terms, layering them on top of one another, putting the background in, everything else you've got in here, any effects that you actually have showing and rendering, they're all going to be visible. Whereas the drawing tab, it takes it off from under the camera and puts it back on the drawing desk practically. So each of these drawing layers has up to four art layers as well, which can confuse things even more because this drawing, I have my underdrawing here, um, my rough, I've got some texture painting there, I've got some patterns here, and I've got my line art on the overlay. Now, you don't have to keep them strict um, in the art layers, but again, for another video, for now, we're talking about when you are just drawing and you're struggling in the drawing view because it doesn't pertain, it doesn't stick to the camera. You see, as I zoom out here, there's my drawing, whereas when I actually look in the camera view, if I put the camera mask on, which is this little grey box down here, you can see there's the outline. You can even zoom in and see the outline on the edge of the camera mask. But in the drawing view, it doesn't exist because it's not under the camera anymore. It's on a piece of kind of infinite paper. This can cause problems for people because if you are just drawing one thing and it's tiny and it's on one of these art layers and you can't remember which one it's on this often happens with rigs if you end up getting zoomed right out and moved right across you can be searching around like where's the thing and i know that's quite a big drawing but it's gone very very small you imagine that just being like a single line you can't see the thing and so you're moving around trying to find it you don't know which art layer it's on because you're switching through them you even turn on this eye to show everything all of these art layers and you can't find it so how do you get your drawing view reset how do you find your artwork again well here's a foolproof foolproof way to do it and uh, i'm going to show you now the first thing you need to do is hit this eye the all-seeing eye here this means all of these art layers are going to be visible so no matter what art layer the artwork is on, because sometimes you've drawn it on the underlay and you've forgotten, and so it might be somewhere else, you might be activated on the overlay or the line art, it doesn't matter, because what we're gonna do, it doesn't matter which art layer it's on. So we turn on this eye. Then we click the black selection arrow, or the select arrow. Next, we go to our tool properties tab, and you've gotta click that to make it visible. Still with this black selection arrow, turned on we get this tool available apply to line and color art so you want to click that now it doesn't just mean line and color art it actually means overlay and underlay um, bit of Tomb Boom history they didn't used to have these two they used to just have line and color so that's why it says that but we don't need them to add overlay and underlay it could just be a you know view or apply to all art layers but either way it does it applies it to all these four that you see here then you're going to move your mouse into the drawing area. Now, if you don't have the shortcuts um, turned on, the preferences set up, go and watch my settings video. It'll tell you how to do that. But you need to change them so that basically this red outline appears, which tells you this view is active. You don't want to have to be clicking in that window to activate it. So the correct settings and things like that that you need to do before you start working in Toon Boom, um, these will help you with that. You just need to literally move your mouse over the drawing tab sort of area. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use some shortcuts. We're going to use Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac. And that's selected things. Now you see how we know it's selected because it's highlighted stuff. Now we just need to find it again. So we're going to hold down, still with our mouse over the drawing tab, um, we're going to hold down the, or the drawing view, we're going to hold down Shift and then M. And there we go. And so what it did was it selected all and then it recentered it. And because we have this setting on, it will pick whatever artwork is in any of those layers and because it's selectable and it will put it back in the view. Then you can turn this eye off and find if it's just a piece of artwork on one layer, you can find which one it is. Again, if you can't find it, just hit 
Control A or Command A, and it will show you, even if it's really light, like the pencil color I've used to draw this, it will show you because it will give you that kind of orangey um, stroke highlight. So you'll be able to see what it is. So even if it's the tiniest little thing, like, I don't know, just a little flick like this, it will still work and you'll still be able to see what you're working with. And then I would also advise you to turn off this apply to line and color art because if you're using an eraser and you have that turned on and in the camera view, it will erase all the way through the art layer. So keep that turned off. Um, so basically go back to what your settings were and you found the thing. Now maybe one day Toonbin will create um, a, a shortcut or a button itself that just kind of resets the drawing view and does all those things. There's probably a script out there that does it for you, but in the meantime, this is the kind of the the shortcut way, <laughs> my fastest way of doing it, and the only way I currently know how. If you do have a another method of doing it, then please feel free to release me from my chains of uh, several little button clicks to get the drawing view reset. But hopefully that's useful to you because I do get quite a few questions about, hey, I've lost my thing in the drawing view and I don't know where it is and I'm going to throw my computer out the window. Don't worry. It's easy. Just follow the path. Um, we go black selection arrow, apply to line and color art, drawing tab, control A, shift M, and you're done. I hope that was useful and I'll see you again in another video.